Okay, so we are going to do uh, writing in slope intercept form. So one of the things that we really, really need to remember is what is slope intercept form, right? So um, let's start there. Slope intercept form of an equation you always want to remember is y equals mx plus b, where we know that m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. Again, focusing on the y-intercept being the point at which it crosses the y, the vertical axis, and then the slope counting up and across or down and across, right? Trying to figure out like what, where is that next point going to end up at? So we create this nice straight line. So if you can identify the slope and the y-intercept, then we could put it in slope-intercept form, right? So um, easy peasy. Let's get to it. All right, let's do the first one here. Now here's, uh, on this one, you just gotta kinda go identify points first. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna do this in red. Identify, it looks like it crosses the y-axis at this value. And then I can, from there, I can count down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then I look across and I go over one. So I'm trying to find the next place that crosses real nicely on a hash mark, right? And that's what I want. So let's identify here the y-intercept. One, two, oh, up two, four, it looks like um, five, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So I'm just gonna write this out real quick. Let's do slope equals five. And then, um, ooh, no, 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 no. Um, good thing that you caught me on that, that is wrong. I'm gonna say the y-intercept equals positive five, yep. And the slope equals, remember, we went down seven, so negative seven, and then I went to the right one, so negative seven over one. All right, there it is, right? You got the two pieces. Now I'll just put that together. So y equals negative seven over one x plus five. Again, remember, we are really, really focused on, let's get this right here, right? Those two numbers in there. And the y and the x always are there. It always persists to be there. So I'm gonna just, uh, let's go y equals negative seven, because negative seven over one is negative seven, x plus five. Boom, there we go. All right, let's try again. Here we go on this one. Go ahead and give that a shot if you can. But here is where it crosses. And let's see, I'd go up one, and then I'd go over one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now I'm gonna process all that. Here we go. Y-intercept equals zero. Slope equals up one over five. Up one over five, right? So remember, those go both have to be positive because a direction up is positive, a direction to the right is positive. So that's what that looks like. So let's put it in y equals mx plus b. Perfect. And then let's just kind of simplify that down, make it a little nicer looking. One fifth x. Nothing has to be there. Plus zero is really just nothing. Plus zero. Just let, let it go. Let it go away. And there we go. We got it. How, how easy was that? All right. Y and slope intercept form the equation. Oh, they give us the slope and they give us the y intercept. Okay. These ones, you're gonna want the entire test to be these problems. It is super easy. Y equals M, that's slope, X plus Y intercept, B. Done, done. All right, let's try this one. Here we go, ready? And Y equals M, negative one, X plus Y intercept, B. Done. Yes, those are awesome, awesome and nice. Okay, how about these ones? Slope intercept form of the equation here, um, but it goes through a point and it has a slope. All right, it's gonna require, now Now we gotta work a little bit harder, right? Unfortunately, those other ones were like count and look and do that, but this one, you're gonna have to go a little bit harder on it. So y equals mx plus b. What do we know so far? We know slope, Okay, so that's gonna get us that. We don't know the other things so though. That's what we gotta focus on. So let's, let's go ahead and put in what we know though. So we know y equals negative two thirds 
x plus b. Okay, so if we figure out the b here, then we have it, we have our equation. So here's what we do have. So we have an x value given to us and a y value given to us. So now we can use the broken equation, take our y value, plug it in here, take our x value, plug it in here, and then we can figure out what that b value is going to be so that we have it to put the general equation back together. All right, so let's try that. So 0 equals negative 2 thirds times negative 3 plus b. Keep this going. 0 equals, um, remember, if you need to, if you're ever multiplying a fraction, so tops together, bottoms together. So I get negative 6 on top, 3 on the bottom, oh, negative. So actually positive, we're just going to change positive, negative, negative is positive. So we're going to get 6 on top, 3 on bottom. Guess what that is? 2. The other way to think about it is the top cancels with the bottom, and we end up with 2 plus b. Um, how about we subtract 2 from both sides? And so then we get negative 2 equals b. Uh, I got my b value. I got my m value known as slope. Let's write this thing out. y equals negative 2 thirds x minus 2 because that's a minus on there. So instead of putting plus negative 2, I just write it as minus 2. And we're done. All right. Give, give it a shot. Go ahead, pause it if you need to, work out the problem, and then unpause it and watch how I do it. y equals mx plus b. Slope is the other thing for m, right? So now we know that we got y equals 4 thirds x plus b. I got an x value and a y value that I can use. So let's use them, All right? Let's put in, um, let's do this. I'll, I'll just kind of show. So I'm going to use red and I'm going to use green just so that you can see the two different colors come through. So I'm going to plug in 5 for y equals, um, I'm going to plug in 3 for x, so I still have the 4 thirds showing, plus b. Okay, let's plug in those two different values. Now, again, um, this over here, I'm just going to make that a fraction. So then we get 5 equals 3 can't on the top, cancel with 3 on the bottom when you're multiplying, or go ahead and multiply it out. You get tops together, you get 12, you get 3 on the bottom, 12 divided by 3 is 4, so it works the same way. I like to cancel early, it just makes it smaller numbers to deal with, equals this. Subtract 4 from both sides, so now we get 1 is equal to b. There's my b value, there's my m value, put it all together, y equals 4 thirds m x plus B, which is one. Done. Right? So there you go. Um, that's trying to kind of work that in right there. Let's do real quick one of these, these things. So the problem with this one is they don't give me slope or y-intercepts. Now I gotta go find both of them. All right, that's the unfortunate piece about this one. So let's do it. So M slope formula, flashback to the last one we did. Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Okay, I'm going to call this my y2, x2. This is going to be my y1, x1. And I just, the subscripts 1 and 2 tell me which point I'm looking at. So this one real quick is going to be negative 3 minus 4 over negative 2 minus 0. So let's finish that out. Negative 7 over negative 2. All right, that looks good right there. Um, so this is my m value. So I'm halfway there. So now as I start thinking y equals m x plus b, I'm going to start plugging in some values. y equals the m value. This 7, uh, negative 7 over negative 2, I'm going to also write that as just 7 over 2. The negatives will cancel out and we get a positive. So then I get 7 over 2 x value. Now here's the deal on this, just like x plus b, right? Just like I had last time. But now I get to choose this or this, and you can pick whichever one you want. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm gonna pick ones that have zeros in it because it's gonna be easier to calculate, or ones that don't have negatives or fractions. That's just, that, that's kind of the, the, the beginning of, of picking. Um, so let's, uh, I'm gonna pick, you know what? This one right here. So it's got an X and a Y value to use for it, okay? So the Y value happens to be four, equals seven halves. The X value happens to be zero, okay? Now work this out. Guess what zero times anything is? 
zero. So we get four equals B. Done, I got my B value. I got my M value, put it together. Y equals seven halves X plus four. And we're done, right? That's real nice and easy doing it that way. Uh, okay, so let's try this, this last one real quick. So we're gonna go M equals, right? Cause they don't give me slope. So it's my job is to find slope. Negative one minus negative one. So I'm doing this one minus this one, okay? Over, come back and do it, one minus zero, All right? Minus negative, same, same thing as adding a positive. So then we get zero over one. Guess what, if your zero's on the top of a fraction, it is always zero. So my slope here equals zero. All right, this is gonna be, a, uh, that's an important fact. As we go y equals mx plus b, plug in values that we know, y equals zero x plus b, okay? So now I get, I'm just gonna simplify this before I even do that. What is zero times x? Zero, it goes away. Y is equal to b. Well, pick either point that you want. Uh, let's pick this point. I only need the, the y value. I only need the y value, negative one, because I only have a y value to give right here. So let's do that. So negative one equals b. Got my b value, here's my x, here's my b. Here's what it looks like when I put this together. y equals mx plus negative one. All right, plus a negative is gonna just be a minus. y equals zero x. I don't know why I put an x, or m, x minus one. Guess what zero times x is? Zero, y equals negative one. That is, this is it in slope intercept form. All right, there you got it. A bunch of different methods. Sometimes it's counting. Sometimes it's just pulling the numbers they give me. Sometimes it's, it's having to adjust a little bit. And sometimes it's here doing the full thing, find the mean, sorry, not the mean, the M, which is the slope and the Y intercept. Okay, so now it's gonna be up to you to get those done.